The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, I'm on the cap on this uh, Friday, the 26th of, uh, of uh, August. We're looking at the S&P, the E-mini down 33 points at 41.69. So this is very interesting. Over the last couple of days, we've seen some absolutely fascinating things. Now, I always make a big deal about the 200 period moving average, and it depends on what time frame you're looking at, but most importantly, it can act as tremendous as a magnet. Just simply put, what does a magnet do? It attracts whatever it is, usually metals. It attracts something, and it becomes a propellant or uh, or a repellent if that if it touches whatever it is touches and then moves away from it. So look at this. You've got the uh, E mini. This is a one minute chart. Look at this orange line, right? Let me expand this. Uh, it's, everything's a little slow today because uh, there's a lot of action with the Fed talk going on right now. So have a look at this orange line. It goes under it, and then it goes above it, and it goes above it, and above it, above it, and then it goes into a rectangle formation. Keep testing over and over and over and over, right until the 8.30. Um, uh, that was the news report on uh, one part of the economy. I wasn't listening, so I'm not sure what it was. And then it springs into action. It pops right up, goes to peak A, but not good enough. When you spend this amount of time at a 200 period moving average, there's a good chance you're going to have to do a retest at some point. Well, it spikes up into the 4200s, this is the September e mini, pulls back, and what does it do? It makes one last visit to the 200 period moving average before it has an extension going to peak C and then a peak D, stopping dead at about, uh, what was that, 40, uh, 4217, I think it was, 4217. Uh, yeah, 42.17.25. And that gives you a peak D in the chapter where we're always looking for D because that's where you raise your foot off the accelerator, hover over the brake, caution light flashes, and it turns down. At that particular point, I made a measured move and I said, I now it's the, the latest thing I've done for the last, oh, I've been doing it for a little while now, but officially, I'd say in the last three weeks, um, I typed in. I never used to do this. I used to just put the cross points or whatever it was. But that's kind of vague. I thought, let's be as specific as possible because I'm trying to develop this so that I can make it more a, a formatted as a, as a program. Well, I said 42.03 by 9.30. Well, it went to it went to 42 at, at 9.28. It went just underneath. It went to 41.99.50 and then bounced a little bit. And then it took off to the downside. But I had another typed in uh, a number, and that's it. 41, let me just make this bigger so you can see what i done. Uh, format, just for the moment. And I'm also using a little time, it's Technical Friday now, to show some of the techniques that I use. Uh, if I can do this, there it is. So we'll just go to 18 for now, so you can just see what I'm doing, then I'll get rid of it. Wow, this is so slow because of all the action that's going on. Oh, I'm just going to cancel that out. Oh, there it is. Yeah, get out of that. All right. So what we're looking at, cancel. Oh, stuck. Doesn't happen very often with Trade Station. Usually it's a wonderful platform that I can use. All right. So it said at 937. And what happened? Uh, so at, at 4186 by 958. And what happened is it plunged underneath. It went to 4184, uh, 87. So 80, uh, let me get the exact figure. So 4186 by 958, uh, you can see I'm stalling. There's nothing I can do because this is uh, there is so much action going on that I'm actually a little slow and not, not the usual case. Oh, don't do that. Okay, here we go. I think we're back. No, we're not. All right, so it went under it, and now I can't move anything to the right. I can't move anything to the left. I'm stuck. Okay, get out of that. Don't worry about that. Here we go. Sorry. This is not the time to have a problem like this. So you can see the Dow's now only down eight. It was down a lot more before. The s and down four. And I'm just waiting for things to uh, be normalized. 
And I'm just going to have to wait. So in the meantime, there's a lot to discuss. I don't have to have the chance for what I want to discuss. Number one is, there it is. It heard me. You know how it is when something hears you, gets a little nervous, so it actually gets back on track. There we go. Okay, now let's go to this. The, the Dow is now uh, down 10 at 33,279. But from Wednesday's low, and we actually, for, for uh, some of our positions that we had three times long, we kept one part of a three times long, but we wanted to get into the core, the one-to-one -one route of the ETF. So we managed to do that at the open, before the open on uh, Wednesday. And, and that is the reason being, I think we're in a phase now where three times long is not quite is not going to be as beneficial as it had been coming off the lows back in uh, in uh, June and July, and therefore I don't mind having them as trading positions, but as core positions, I just want to be able to have my subscribers sleep at night. So we've got new positions and or added positions, and it's just a much simpler uh, way of doing it at this particular point in the Dow. We still have the long diamond position. We did get the DOG, that's one-to-one -one short the Dow, as an amelioration so that on Wednesday, we got both the, um, or was it the day before, we got the DOG. And we, no, what am I talking about? We got it just before the big move down at the open on uh, on the 22nd of August. So we were lucky near the 33,500 area, we got short. So we've got that as a kind of, it's to ameliorate, that's what I said, any any down move so that we can continue to hold the diamonds because I don't want to get out of the diamonds now. We got in at such good prices. Why? I don't want to mess with that. How do we get back in? The risk of getting stopped out a couple of times is just too great. So that's what we've got, and it's more an insurance policy than anything else, even though it's made a little money. In fact, we took a little bit off and made some money. Not the point. The point is that I'm anticipating somehow or other that the market holds up a lot better than you know, climb a wall of worry. That's exactly where we are right now. But that doesn't mean to say there aren't things that are, are not serious. There are a lot of things. I mean, the price of, uh, of energy for anyone in Europe is just it's out of sight. Um, so uh, you can't ignore that. Usually what happens in Europe does filter to us. So, okay, with that said, let's go on. So we've got the S&P at this particular point. We've got the S&P uh, down 8 at 41.91, came came nicely off the low of, was that 41.20? 41, I usually type it in, it's not in now. It should be in because today's going to be an, uh, quite an exciting day. So we've got, this is not nice. This is uh, The low of 41.19, I thought it was 22, no, it was 41.19, and here we are at 41.88. Really nice move up. Gives us a little bit of a cushion. So that's what I was saying to subscribers. Thank goodness from Wednesday to early this morning, there was this huge move up in the different indices to give us a cushion. If anything that Powell said, just tanked the market. It tanked the market just for a brief moment. And I, I don't think we're done. I think the day is going to be very, very choppy. And now let's go to the QQQ. Right on the 9 and 14 period exponential moving average is 320 down 45 cents. Not as strong looking as the others, but I'll get you to the weekly charts as soon as we come back. And most importantly, I wanted to show you something that I think is quite fascinating here. If you're looking at bonds, our bonds are down 11 foot seconds. It did that left side, right side price time match. I'll be back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vistagold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vistagold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vistagold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vistagold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open. 
to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back, and the Dow is now down uh, 63. S&P is down 11. I'd love a digestive session. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too carried away. Downside doesn't have to be too carried away. Upside, just take a breather. We don't want to have this keep going up and then have a... a a uh, quadruple down day. Uh, I just prefer these moments where you breathe naturally. So breathing naturally, looking at this left side, right side price time match to the exact day of the uh, expected match. That was the low in the bonds. That's the low from the uh, 136 level, 136 and 25, 24, 30 seconds. Well, we went to a hundred and was it? Yes, it was two days ago. Is that correct? Yes, two days ago went to 136 and 5:30 seconds. Yesterday went a little bit below and closed. Uh, it was nice, uh, kind of uh, an overpowering candle from the previous day. I, 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 yeah, I've, I look at too many charts to get too carried away with, with engulfing candles. It's just uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Just, but this definitely is some form of an engulfing candle. And now we're having an inside day down 12, 30 seconds. So that that means that if there is a break into the 130. A close under 135 says that if very quickly the 134 and 830 second low of the 28th of June is taken out, you can anticipate a move halfway into the 615, uh, June 15th low of, uh, that was 615, 616, somewhere around there, uh, of 131, Let's go to 131. So somewhere a test into this area will be a major test, 133s. So it needs very quickly to have a rebound because the stochastic is trying to rally from uh, a single digits to, well, it's 967 to at least 12%. It needs to get there. On balance form is not great. The histogram of the MACD is starting to improve a little bit. And if you go to the TNX dot X, there it is. This is, uh, we did a one, two, uh, we, we did a left side, right side price time match on the way up of the 10 year. Uh, this is a, this is a 10 year treasury note interest rate. And it went to a peak E. Uh, well, still a leg E. We'll see if today it doesn't make a new high. But it's just been telling me for a while that, that yields are stuck in a range for, for now. 
There could be a much bigger move up into the 35, 36 area, 3.5, 3.6 area uh, later on. But at this particular point, I, I don't think so. I think it's just there's a containment area. Uh, just now I want to see where the uh, dollar is. The dollar is down sharply, down 62 ticks. And I want to see where gold is. And gold is down seven trying to come back here it just it's not remember i said a long time ago think of these five things completely separately uh oily that's oil usually there was a relationship between the oil and the dollar that's been gone for a long time now oil is in independence it's at 92.69 came off the 200 period exponential moving average um, magnet line it's still a magnet line and until crude oil actually trades on a weekly basis with a close above 97 Consider that there's a lot, a lot of resistance. It's not breaking down. It's not breaking. It's just stuck in this range. If you're looking at Goldie, uh, Goldie stuck in a range as well. The lower range hasn't been able to get out of its own way. If you look at the resistance of the Chapman Wave falling axis resistance here in this um, rising Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, another repellent zone, it's still stuck at the one. If you look at the U going to a double U pattern in the in the monthly. Going to a lower low just kind of negates that for a while. There will be a move in gold at some point. I just don't think it's yet. Uh, think of uh, Bondi, which is bonds, or just did that. But let's go to the TLT. That 110.86 low that was made on the 23rd, I need to check that that's still in fact. No, the 25th, it went lower to 110.99. Oh, that isn't lower. Oh, the 86 might have been pre-market, huh? So it went lower than this low right here of the um, 28th of June, 110.87. Oh, yeah, it went to, why have I got 86? Ah, because on the 24th, it went to 110.86. I got the 23rd, it should have been 24th. Very interesting. So it it touched the left side low, just at one, one, one penny below. Now it's trying to pull, push up if at any point... 109, uh, no, 108.50. Let's call it 108. If 108 is taken out, watch out that 102.12 will be a measured move uh, on the 17th of June. Oh, you don't want to really see that. That should take us into September the 15th or 20th area uh, in time. So that's that. So you remember, just think of them, Sarah, and Vixi. Remember VIX index? Um, if you just based everything on the VIX index, you would have thought even with this big, spike from the 18s to the 24s right on the 200 period exponential moving average yet yeah, look at this how incredible this 200 period moving average has been either as a springboard as a repellent a resistance area it's done it again but that's at 2421 we're at 22.38 so you would expect that from uh the 19.12 low to the 20 uh 24 86 high um, you would have had a massive move down in the market, but actually it's been quite a gentle move thus far. It could, it could accelerate. So watch that. So that once again, you've got these independent things. You've got a dolly for the dollar, which is screened to the upside and then stopped dead right at the double top area. Now it's pulling back, maybe making a cup and handle. I don't like those. I love cup and ladle, cup and ladle, cup and ladle. Yeah, we need to look at a cup and ladle pattern. So those are five things. You've got Bondi, Dolly, Oily, uh, Goldie, and Vixie. And those are the things that I monitor, but I have to think of them all very separately. There was a relationship when gold went down, the dollar went up, when the dollar went up, gold went down. It's just... It hasn't worked like that for a long time. Maybe in the trend kind of, kind of works that way, but not in the big picture. Uh, it just hasn't. So think of them independently. Now, what I want you to do is to say that um, I, I thank you very much for that note that says, Al, uh, Chairman Powell this morning, continuing to sharply increase Fed rates is a necessary pain of taking today's inflation. We will continue to raise rates. Nothing wrong with that statement at this particular point. There will be a moment where it doesn't work. But I don't think that that's, uh, I think the market at this particular point is going under its, its, the spell of the different areas. Let's just go to the SMHs. Down, oh, I typed it in the wrong place. Let me go back here. SMHs. Yeah, there we go. SMH trading down four. 
at 231.70. Had a nice spike stalled right at the uh, 14 and 9 period exponential moving averages. It did have, have a left side, right side price time match going to um, by the 30th of August. It should test the 221.30 level that was low the 26th of, of July. But it got close. It got to um, 22, 220. 225.71 on the 24th. Now it's rebounding. This is still in play, but I, I hope that, that the semiconductors are actually holding as well as they are. They're under the 200 period experience keeping average. That, that is a bit of a worry, and that means that if you're all along, you need to raise yourself just to be very comfortable that he's had a good rally and it might pull back. I'll be back down to 240 as he's down fixed. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. We are back, and we, the futures are now the S&P down 45. It went right to where? The 200-period exponential moving average, and it just dropped sharply. I'm not going to do any work on that right now because I got a lot of questions that I didn't get to. I first of all want to thank Dan. Dan, thank you so much for sending me the settings uh, that evidently you had the same trouble with your trade station earlier this morning. You just sent me. I'm not going to do that now live. But, yep, thank you for the settings. I'll, I'll actually see if I can do that. So it doesn't happen very often, as you know. It's, usually, it's a very good platform. Um, but uh, it did happen this morning. It just froze up for that moment because there was just so much action, I guess, that that's what it is. So on Friday, I said to see Friday, Friday, Friday. So a couple of questions have come in. Uh, I didn't get to it, and I can't remember offhand who asked me for it, but I didn't do it yesterday. I meant to. UUUU is Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium is down 
690, it's at 696, down 37 cents uh, with a long-legged doji candle that's under. And that just says that you've got to be a bit careful here because if it closes underneath yesterday's low in the long-legged doji, this is my own interpretation of candles, this is a particular candle, long-legged candle, like a plus sign with the, the wicks are long, up and down. So the low is 703. If it closes under 703 today, then the closing price, open and closing price, which was at 732 and it closed at 733. So that whole area of 732.33 uh, is now resistance. And the 200 period moving average of 6.80 is in play as support. It's on my list because I think with all the uranium stocks, the idea is to be able to time it very well. If you can time it very well, you get spectacular moves. If you time it closer to a high, the pullbacks could be 40, 50 percent because it's a single digit uh, price stock. So, yes, unless it can trade and hit and hold above 740 in the next uh, going to Wednesday of next week, I think this is just a single single leg A up. I've got it as an F, but it's really uh, like a single leg A Eiffel Tower that goes straight up and then straight down. And if it goes under 640, that's a real problem. You're going to have to wait a little longer. The monthly chart says that uh, it's just in a big consolidation from the high in the uh, 11 area and uh, a low in the under 5. So get, as I say, it gets cut in half. So just hold off. Next question came in about lit. Uh, so this is... Uh, Lithium, Global X Lithium and Battery Tech Fund uh, trading down 94 cents at 77.79. And what's really important about this particular uh, chart, it did make a PG. It had an alternate count, but that alternate count is negated. So now it's got a down move. It did a beautiful left side, right side price time match. Remember, folks, in my, in my, uh, in my, for my subscribers to my opening call. We go through this a lot. Number one, we go through this a lot. And number two is that I explain the patterns, and that's what I had my webinar on recently. Um, and if you, you if there's no time limit to that, that's a webinar that is just uh, for the patterns. And whenever they occur, they occur. It wasn't as if to say, this is a timing model for entry and exit points. This is uh, for the subscribers. To the, it was not. This is a pattern recognition uh, webinar, and it's valid for whatever time. It doesn't. There's no time limit. So this is definitely. It made a PG, a rogue wave PG, right here. Uh, this is lit, lit. Uh, goes to 77.40 on the 28th of June, and then plunges below the the left side low. So it starts a brand new buy mode. Goes peak A, B, C, D. Yes, there's a potential trap wave instant restart. I had left side, right side price time match to uh, the uh, 4th of August to hit 77.40. Uh, it didn't. It went It went to uh, a high on the 5th of 76.39. Then the next day gapped up and went above that. So it was two days late, but it had that exact pattern. Oh, I had this and I took it out because it was starting to look messy. Uh, where do I put the starting point for my chat wave inside wedge target resistance line? Uh, in this case, I put it on the low uh, back in the last day of June, beginning of July. And it went right to the point. Look, that was the cross point right there and it went above it. So um, now we're at 77.81, making a potential dreaded H pattern like this, lowercase h. And one of the things I'd say to subscribe is the reason why we got in on Wednesday for the one-to-one -one long positions of, of one, one, one situation where we're still long the um, three times long. But most importantly, uh, we went long a particular area that I think is starting to improve a lot, but it's going to be very choppy until it can break to the upside. And that's because with the rally that we just had, I was able to put a stop that I think is very reasonable. And that's really important. You want to know what your risk is. You know, risk is the most, you want to stay in the game. In the, in the 20 years I've been here, oh, in the 20 years I've been here at TFN, over 20, 20 years now, um, I, I always talk about the risk. And for subscribers, I know I make tight stops. It costs us money in the end. We might lose 2% or even 3%, sometimes a little more. But when it works, we have really good gains. And, and, and those gains really make up for the little losses, I 
I just can't do this. I, I'm not able to sleep at night if I have subscribers who are sitting with a, a 20, 25, or 35 percent loss because it inter it just interferes with everything else you're thinking about. You know, it's so it's so hard to put on new positions with this little thing sitting in your shoulder like a like a like a like a what do they call them? Like a wagging wagging the finger elf. A little elf wagging its finger saying, hey, 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 you think you got a new trade on? Look at the look at what I got you. I got a 20% loss, 30%. I don't like that. So I like to be free to think and do it as, as clearly as I can. <clears throat> Most importantly, oh, and the other thing is that is upsetting because um, where are we now? <clears throat> We're down at 41.37 and I had a short at 42.09, I think it was. And I got out thinking, oh, okay, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good gain. Wow, look at this. It would have been a 40-point uh, slide. All right, well, that's the way it goes. Got to do a show. You got to do a show. Okay, what we're looking at next is, uh, so that was one question, two questions. Oh, USDCHF. That is, um, that is the, oh, I used to have this all re uh, done so neatly. Uh, US dollar, uh, Swiss franc. ETF. I wanted to show this as, let me get this right. Is this the one? I'm almost sure this is the one. Yes. Um, this has made a number of peak Ds in the monthly chart. The last one, just the most obvious one, is from the, around about the uh, 2018. We went to peak A. In the Chapway methodology, we're always looking for four higher peaks. Peak B, Big C, and that's where other things can happen. That's where you can sometimes get your sharpest decline. Well, lo and behold, the, the dreaded H took it out, went all the way down. And uh, in January, I think it was 2021, started a new move up. So then it went to a strong leg A and then gave it gave it up. And then under it, it had a gray peak A. I call it gray because there's no buy, uh, there's no stochastic over 80 percent to be really considered a buy mode and it goes peak a gray a gray b gray c all underneath that original a and then it spikes higher and goes to a d well that d was underneath the previous d of uh, april of 2019 to 1.02372 this one was at 1.0 yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, 1.006. So I don't like that. That's just a big negative. You make it to the biggest high. And all the whole thing is back. Everything now is run to the beginning. I just want to show that back. And then the question about the wave down in the month. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, hi, we're back and we've got um, uh, two segments to go. Let me do this quickly. So the question came up, what is the notation in CF Industries holdings? I'm not going to go through all the uh, different things, but all along, I should just say for clarification from the 95 area, we did 119.58 today with a little doji candle in leg F. I believe that this is about to have a little bit of a breather, but that's in the daily chart. So the stalk leg formation went to a one-to-one -one extension to the upside, and that is a very bullish pattern. The stalk leg is means that once you go above the oval body and come back in, if you don't take out the, the low of the of the oval body, then uh, that starts a brand new strong move. That's the beak when the beak is finished, and then you're on your own. In this particular instance, this is still basically the neck, and the neck is so long that it just excludes completely. In fact, I have to take it away now because it's not a stalk leg formation anymore. This is a Chapman wave propeller shaft pattern where you've got a fulcrum it doesn't say you're going to go from the low all the way uh, in one to one but it means that from the last either doji candle in this case a little doji candle at 95 uh, to the high of 105 then a pullback from the 98 area you can get an equal amount to the upside yes it could turn into the whole leg but i i just treat it like this is a propeller shaft midpoint for a move up that's not the issue the issue is this is technical friday what did we do about the weekly chart? The weekly chart made a... Let me just open this up so that we can see that. So this is the weekly chart. It made a peak F once upon a time back in, I think it was May, right there. What was that? It was May the 21st at a round number open of 54, 57.19 high, and then it just dropped sharply. Um, not, it didn't plummet. It just steadily dropped day after day to 43 Nineteen-four points, ten percent, not a big deal, but it did make that round number quite important. Now, what we've got is you've got peak A, B, C, then it goes to a D, E, and F at one hundred thirteen fifty-nine. The week of the fifteenth of April, and then pulls back, and it does the gem wave one to one left side, right side price time match, and it breaks out uh, about a week earlier than it should in a single leg A to the upside. However, you see the starting point, this trough D? Yes, the MACD turned up beautifully in the nine. The uh, nine differential is nicely above the 26 period moving average. The stochastic's only at 75%. I much prefer over 80% because that's what you want to see in, when you're in a buy mode. Most importantly, you want to see it getting to the 90% level. Well, maybe there's still time, but it hasn't done it yet. It did it once before and then it pulled back. So, the starting point here was this low that was made back on the 20th of August at 43.19 40, of 2021. We're talking about a weekly chart. So it's taken a year exactly and has gone from 43 to 119. But this little stopping point with the doji candle high, I met every criteria for some kind of a pullback. And unless it takes out that low, the 45 low, 
anything from here means that you continue, you could consider this a G because it's a continuation of the F, but it's also potential brand new A. This is hydrogen, nitrogen products for clean energy, fertilizer, emissions, abatement. You can hold up whatever placard you want. Uh, this meets all the criteria, whether you're uh, um, um, as someone who wants as much energy as possible, whether you want fertilizer, whether you want clean air products, efficiency abatement, it just does everything. So I'm saying to you, think of it now. Yes, I would like to put in the G slash A, but it met, met so many criteria that I really think it's an A. A says every dip you want to buy. G says, oh my goodness, you're getting ready for a major pullback. But look, the 9 is still sharp. You're above the 14s. It's in the right area sector-wise. I like it very much. So uh, the most important thing about this is sometimes I have to go with the daily chart. The daily chart says, whoa, we are really close to some kind of digestive phase. 93% of the stochastic is fantastic. Magnes made an M-shaped pattern. Great. 9 is way above the 14, and the price is way above the 9. Nothing to me. It did the left side, right side price time match exactly. Look at this. Uh, right here. Look at that. And there's an even larger one uh, that makes the high that was made back at 130.49 with the low of the 23rd of June at uh, this particular low was at 80.33. Uh, 80 and it said you've broken out to the upside in a shorter time frame from the left side high to the low to the right side. And that's usually a very big positive, but it also says be careful because you've done a little too much too soon. So all I'm saying is that, yes, for those, you remember, I'm just doing an analysis. I'm not telling you whether to buy or sell or anything like that. What I am saying is that expect some kind of a pullback. But the question really was, what do you consider the weekly chart to be in? And I'm going to say for purely technical reasons, I'm always a little conservative in these uh, notations because in the Chapman methodology, there is, a, there is a case to make to say that that could be a G. There is a case to make to say it's an A. And then the answer to that whole thing is, uh, no, the question would be, are you kidding? It's either, oh, my God, or it's woohoo. No, I'm saying that all the technicals are still very good. A breakout in this particular pattern says that the 113 level should be revisited and probably a little bit lower than that. And it says you could see a digestive phase of even four to five weeks with this big candle, maybe going a tad higher, but still with this big candle being the fulcrum for the price move swinging up and down and up and down. I'll even draw it in. I don't mind if it breaks to the upside. But at the same time, I want you to know that you've got to still be a little bit cautious right here. Now, the monthly chart had a peak D, but not but within three bars. It did not. And this is very interesting. There it is. Look, one, two, three, took four bars, and then fifth bar was a break above. So this is not a chat wave instant restart. Doesn't mean to say you couldn't have a sell signal and a buy signal here, and this is a brand new move. But here again, the monthly chart has E slash A, F slash B, G slash C. Everything about it says it's probably a C, but I don't want to be that loose with this. I don't know because I need the shorter time frame, which is the weekly, to tell me. But I don't know the weekly because I need the daily to tell me. So all I can say is that the Magni is incredibly strong in the monthly chart. The stochastics not so great at 73%. It's not confirming it. On balance volumes a tad overbought. But the nine period moving average of 91 support and 82 in the 14 period moving average are key, key levels. So you see what happens is that like, like what we're in right now. So we're long. I wanted to take a little bit off again today, but I thought we've already taken three little bits off. Three little bits are like 8% of your position, maybe 10. Um, uh, so I, I didn't want to take another one yet today. I want to see what happens at the close. Maybe we will a little bit. And then we've got this cash position for CF that we want to put back into CF. We'll see what happens. All right. So the next question came up. Could I do uh, just a, a, a count on NTR? NTR is Nutrient Limited Retail Agricultural Solutions Fertilizer at all same category. This is a doji candle today. Leg E, it's almost in the same category, but not even close to as strong as uh, yeah, right? oh, yes. uh, this is a leg E, leg e, and it's a leg E in the, in the weekly 
the gas has gone over eight percent. So I'm kind of watching what with the nine did fall for the yeah for the day's end. So far it's good. I'll be back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So let's just uh, let me do this in the remaining uh, couple of minutes we've got here. Uh, two things. Number one is yeah, uh, Nike uh, trading at 110.62, down 260, making a potential dreaded H. It really needs to hold the 108s by Monday or Tuesday, otherwise it's a real problem. And that is a sell signal. I, I'm going to wait until the end of the day, but it looks like it might be increased to a sell mode. So that's uh, uh, Nike. A um, couple of questions. Could I do DBA? Oh, can I get to DBA? Yeah. Uh, DBA is the DB Agricultural Fund. We are long from the 1370s. And we've taken a little bits off, but we still got a call. We added back again the other day. It's trading at 20.60, um, up 10 cents. Yeah, I think it's in play. I don't think it's breaking out just yet. That 200 period moving average at 20.54 uh, is just so strong. It, it, to break away, it has started a leg C in a very quick period of time in the weekly chart. And that just says to me that it's in play. It cannot be ignored. But I want to see 20.80, 21.30 in on a weekly basis, so that it holds most of the week up in that level. Uh, but it, I think I think the commodities are in play. So with that said, we've got to do this. A VIX index trading right now. Remember VIX? Oh, type it. Over. I'm sorry. Type it over here. Dollar. 
vix.x. That's how we get it. Uh, trading into the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart. It hasn't taken out the the low, the high of three days ago. So if the VIX index trading at uh, 23.14 right now, if after 2 o'clock, so 2.15, after 2.15 this afternoon, if the volatility index is over 23.65, um, I think that we're going to see a really weak close. But if all of a sudden, because you know, this is all news related, if all of a sudden the VIX index slides under 23.72 and it does that by 10 to 2, 2.15 this afternoon, I think we'd have a little bit of a rebound. And that would be very good. Have a wonderful rest of the day and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Check out my opening call. Stay tuned for Steve Rose for the great programming coming up.